Hi third graders. So this is a video on how to paint using tints, tones, and shades. So um, we're going to start out at school. Uh, if you're at home, you're gonna use whatever art supplies you have, but at school, we're gonna start out with um, three colors, a little bit of white, a little bit of black, and a little bit of a color of your choice. I'm gonna choose red. And we're gonna make a landscape where it looks like a sun or moon is kind of shining in the sky. So the first thing I'm gonna do, notice I have a cup of water with a brush. I'm just gonna start out with um, white only. And I know it's a little blurry on my screen, so bear with me. Um, so I'm gonna start with a little bit of white and you don't have to put it right in the center, but I'm just gonna add a little circle here. That's gonna be like my sun. Now I'm gonna start making tints. So I'm gonna take some of that white and make a little section and then grab a little bit of my color, which is red and mix it. When you mix white with a color, you get the tint of that color. So pink is created when we get the tint um, of red. So I'll even mix a little more white in there. And then I'm just gonna do a nice kind of circle around here. And then we're just gonna keep adding color to our tint. So now I'm gonna bring it a little closer to red. I'm gonna bring some red and mix it in there. So now it's a little bit darker and I'll add a darker circle going around. And we're gonna continue this. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more red and darken it up yet again still to the point where it's almost back to our original color. Now I can take some regular old red and do some nice outlines around that circle. And you can see what starts to happen is we start to see that color get um, darker and darker as it moves away from the center. Now what you can do is add your shade, which is where we take our red and I might swish my brush and rinse it off a little bit. Now I'll make a shade of red. So I'll take this red paint and add a little bit of black, just a little bit and mix it in there. and we're gonna keep working outwards. So I'm gonna go a little fast here and I'm gonna make a mess on my desk, um, but this is how you're gonna continue this all the way around the, the sides, okay? And then um, your last step, once you have shades of red or shades of whatever that color it is that you had, I'll go a little darker yet still. Once you have um, that color getting nice and dark around toward the edges, the last step that you can do, or one of the last steps is adding like trees or some kind of landscape um, around here. So what we can do for that, I'll show you, is just take your black paint and we can start to add like black around the bottom, which can be like some ground. And I am going a little fast because I only have a five minute time limit on these recordings. So I'm gonna go a little fast, but you could do that. You could add like some hills with black. We could add maybe like a tree or something like that. Okay. We can also do some trees just by making like triangle shapes like this. And then finally, if you wanna just add a last kind of step, we can um, add some little dots in the sky for stars. Like I could just take my regular white here and just go around and add some stars. And that's basically it, guys. So um, tints, when we're adding white to a color, shades, when we're adding black to a color. All right, have fun guys and good luck.